So I want to represent this function as a power series. So what we basically know is if we have the sum n going from 0 to infinity of something, we'll call it u to the n, that equals the function 1 over 1 minus u. So what I want to do is express this function in that form so I can identify what the u is. So I'm going to write this as 7 times 1 over 1 minus, it was a plus, so it's going to be minus a minus, and then I have 100x squared, so I'm going to write that as 10x, the quantity squared. So all of this here will be my u. So now I can express this as a power series. I'm going to write the 7 out in front, then n going from 0 to infinity of my u is negative 10x, that quantity squared, to the n. Now I'm going to express this just a little bit differently because I basically have this negative which is like a negative 1 to the n so I'm going to write that kind of separated so I can see that alternating series piece. So I have negative 1 to the n and then I will have 10x to the 2n because we know that if we have an exponent inside and outside we multiply those. So there is my power series representation of this function and when we go to write out the coefficients c0 is a constant, c1 is in front of the x term, c2 is in front of the x squared term and so forth. So we want to find the first five coefficients of a polynomial in that form. So first we put in 0 and we would get out for our, our first coefficient 7 because negative 1 to the 0 is 1 and 10x to the 0 is also 1. Now to find c sub 1, well if I put in a 1 I have negative 1 to the 1 times 7 which is negative 7 and then putting in a 1 here times 10x squared but wait just a minute then, that's not going to be the x term because I'm squaring the x, that's going to be 100, so it's going to be negative 700x squared. So c sub 1 is actually 0 because there is no x term in this, that's missing, and I just found c sub 2, the coefficient on the x squared term, is negative 700. Now similarly, if I wanted c sub 3, I'm going to find out that 0 because there will be no odd powers of x here because of this 2n. If I put a 2 in here, I will have 7, and putting a 2 here, that's times negative 1 squared, so that's out of there, but then this will be 10x to the 4th, and then that's going to be, for our coefficient, we can see we need 4 zeros on that, so 7, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, x to the 4th, so there's our c sub 4. Now the last thing we need to do is find the radius of convergence and we're going to utilize the fact that we know that th if it's a u, the absolute value of u to converge, this needs to be less than 1. So in place of that, we essentially had this. So the absolute value of this needs to be less than 1. I'm trying to figure out where to squish it. I guess we'll go down here to the bottom. And so I'm going to have the absolute value of, I'm going to write it out, 100 x squared needs to be less than 1. I didn't put the negative on here because I'm doing absolute value. So now I can get the x alone to determine what the radius of convergence would be. So I would divide this by 100. So I'd have the absolute value of x squared is going to be less than, and I'll write it as a decimal so I can fit it here, 0.01. And then we could take the square root and find that that would be absolute value of x needs to be less than 0.1. So our radius of convergence is 0.1.